Okay, gardeners, I'm going to share with you what I consider to be one of my very few genius tips tonight. A few years ago, my husband and I wanted to put lights all over our garden, and specifically in our front patio, because it was kind of the trend, and it looks really beautiful, and it's fun for entertaining at night. But we lacked the mature trees in the fence line or just places to put them on that made it look natural. So I went online, and what I saw everywhere was people who had used... Uh, little pails full of concrete, but then the poles tipped over. And then other people had used giant buckets full of concrete, <clears throat> and they'd sunk the poles in them, and they were stuck with these giant buckets of concrete and also giant poles in their yard year-round. And I knew I didn't want that look for my garden, so I came up with this idea. It has worked so well, and I'm super excited to share it with you. So here's what you're going to need. You will need one PVC pipe that is one inch you can buy I bought all this stuff at Lowe's they are not sponsoring me but this is just where I got it and then you'll need one plumbing pipe they sell this in the plumbing section and this is just slightly smaller this is probably three-fourths of an inch because I want this to fit inside that tube and then what I did was I cut off 18 inches of this you can use any cut you can use a handsaw you could use a miter saw you can use a hacksaw just about anything to cut through this it cuts very similar to wood and then here's the trick anywhere in your yard anywhere near your patio near your home anywhere you want to have a seating area to entertain and put up string lights um, you're gonna bury this so get a post hole digger and di you could use a shovel too but a post hole digger just makes it easier dig a hole that is about 16 17 inches deep depending on where you want to put this in your yard stick this in the hole you can use a little quick crete to fill it back up you can buy that at Lowe's as well and I'll happy to, to tag that if you guys aren't sure what that is um, it makes it just a little stronger if you feel like you have a really compact dirt or clay dirt or stone you could just use your own soil but you want to pack this in really good so it doesn't move and then you'll buy a cap that fits over this and you'll spray paint this black and then you're going to take your pole and you're going to spray paint this black also and on the end of it i want you to put a little hook any way that you want to do this we drilled a little hole through here a lot of drills come with a metal drill bit so this shouldn't be too too hard to find and we put a little hook with a bolt on the back of it just to hold it on there and then this is where the magic happens so I don't like these up all the time, but I want them to be really secure when I do use them. So when I decide to entertain, I take my string lights, and one of the things I love about this particular brand, it's a really high quality brand, um, and as much as I don't like bringing new plastic into the world, these are plastic, and what's great about that is when you use the blast ones, every time they hit each other or hit the ground, they break, and the plastic will just last and last and last. So you're just gonna hook this on like this, and then I have one right here in the ground that I already buried. And I'm going to take my string light. And I'm going to put this right in here. Super easy. I can do this myself. I don't need a ladder at all. I will just hook these on to the next pole and put that at the next place in my garden and I can have string lights all the way around my garden and I can do any configuration that I want. If I want to do a small area, I've got enough of these buried in my yard now, I could do a small area. I've got these all over the perimeter of my yard too and I can string up my whole backyard if I feel like it. And they come down just as easily. So when I'm ready to take them down, I don't need a ladder, I don't need any help. I can just come out here and I lift the pole up, lower it down, <clears throat> and if it drops off, it's okay because it's plastic and I know it won't break. And then I take the cap, this is the best part, put the cap over this, make sure you've mulched or landscaped around it, and no one will ever know it's there, especially as these shrubs grow in and get more mature. If you are doing this right in your lawn, which is another cool way to do this, just make sure you bury the PVC pipe all the way down so the lawnmower won't hit it, so that when you put the cap on, it actually becomes flush with the ground and the grass kind of grows up around it so you won't even see it. So I hope you will use this tip. I actually published this last year. I, I made a little video about it because it's working so well and it got a lot of great feedback. People tried it, but if you weren't following me, then you certainly didn't see that. 
and I have a whole post on my website about measurements and exactly how to do this, so I'll tag that as well. Um, but these are the lights that I think that you should buy if you're going to do this because I feel like they're sturdy and high quality and again, plastic so they won't break. And put these up in your yard in as many places as you want to. Take them up and down with these. And then post pictures of your party when you have people over because I want to see that you entertained in your garden. Alright, I'm Tony Farmer and this is my garden.